folks, and welcome to another session of Cooking with GK. I'd like to thank you for all my new subscribers out there, and to everyone that's watching my videos, I thank you. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook some chicken and steak kebabs on the grill. <laughs> What you're gonna need is a super simple recipe. I got some steaks already cut up and cubed. I'm gonna season. I got some chicken breast I'm gonna cut up and cube. And you know, if you've been watching my videos, I like to work smarter and not harder. I have my kebab kit here. Got some sticks with uh, the onions, the peppers already cut up. I got two of those. Again, depending on how many people you plan on feeding. That's how many you're gonna need, but again, they're already cut up and ready to go. The season I'm gonna use for the chicken is the chicken poultry rub by Lowry's. And for the steak, I'm gonna just use the Kinder's salt, pepper, and garlic. And I'm gonna marinate the chicken and the steak with olive oil. My steak is already cubed. I'm gonna start cubing the chicken breast. What you wanna do, of course, you wanna thoroughly wash your chicken breast, dry them off, put them on a the cutting board and keep start cubing them up. I'm not gonna season them until I get them into the cubes and put them into a storage pouch, which they're gonna then marinate for about maybe one or two hours. You don't want your cubes too big. Again, depending on how many kebabs you plan on making. And some of these you can cut in, cut in the twos. You can get another piece on there, but again, that's gonna be a nice size for a kebab. All right, got my chicken breast queued up. Now I'm gonna start the marinating process. Sprinkle some olive oil on it. So the seasoning will adhere to the chicken. I'm gonna also season the vegetables, the peppers on the kebabs as well too, so. Don't be shy on your seasoning. You want your flavor to come through along with the peppers on the kebab. Make sure it's well incorporated in there. Every bite should have some flavor. These marinate at room temperature because they already came out of the refrigerator chill. So let these marinate at room temperature for about an hour. With the steak, be careful ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to really risk cross contamination. So I'm not going to put the steak directly onto the cutting board that may cause cross contamination with raw meats. That's a, a warning, I'm not gonna say a warning, but just you don't wanna really do that to prevent any type of illness or sickness while your company or your guests are consuming the food. So I'm just gonna put the steak directly into the storage bag and that's when I'm just gonna marinate inside the storage bag. Again, I'm gonna wash the steak first, of course, clearly wash them and dry them, put them in the marinade bag.
Again, you don't want to be shy on the, on the seasoning. Um, taste the flavor in each and every bite. Try to get away. for about an hour at room temperature. All right, everything's been marinated. Make my chicken kebabs and I'm gonna make my steak kebabs. Time to build. You know, whatever order you wanna put it in, you know, it's up to you. I usually just start with the chicken, the meat first rather. Go pepper. Pepper, onion, meat, and just repeat. Super simple. Flip on the grill. It's called Up Grills. Got it off of Amazon. The link in the description below. Click that if you want to purchase that off of Amazon. What I'm going to do is put the kebabs in there, fold it over. This is going to be hanging outside the grill and it's going to be easier to flip. Same process for the steak kebabs. Oh, the marinating. Oh man, they're gonna taste so good. They already smell good. Just by because they were marinating for about an hour, hour and a half. You know, again, the process is up to you. You wanna put veggies first, meat first. It's all up to you.
chicken kebabs and the steak kebabs have been assembled. Now, as my grill is getting hot, I'll see you in a few minutes. If the grill is hot, my chicken kebabs was too thick to fit on my little rack here, so I'm using that for the steak kebabs to make them easy to flip on the grill. So, had to go old school, put it on the chicken kebab rack. Once again, the grill is hot. They about to go on in a few seconds. All right, folks, the kebabs are on. Gonna take about maybe 10 minutes each side. We'll flip them after 10 minutes onto a medium rare, however, however you want it, how you like your chicken or steak. Chicken definitely want to be cooked about maybe 10 minutes each side. Right now, I got the beef kebabs right over top of the coal. I'm gonna flip them in about five minutes. So, the kebabs are on and cooking. Check back with you in about 10 to 15 minutes. Coming along beautifully. Almost ready to come off. We got plate and taste test. Char on the chicken, steak to medium rare, and they smell wonderful. All right, folks, they have come off the grill. They smell wonderful. Perfect char on the chicken and the steak. You know what time it is. Time for a taste test. All right, folks. I got one of each. Steak and the chicken. Let's go in. I'm going to try to get a bite of everything. Mmm. See the perfect cook on the chicken? Oh, it's the seasoning. Oh my. Mmm. Seven to ten minutes, five minutes on each side, flipping in between. That was the chicken. Let's go for the steak. Perfect medium rare. Mm. So, so well. There you have it folks. Showed you how to cook some chicken and steak kebabs. Check out the links below for the gadgets I use in this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers once again. And I'll catch you on the next video of Cooking with GKF.